Well, holiday travel is booming this 4th of July holiday weekend, but as Wendy Gillette reports, that demand is bringing up problems too. Frustrated 4th of July flyers are already dealing with hundreds of cancellations this weekend. Lee Harris's flight to Ohio on Delta was scrapped Thursday night as he was boarding at Newark Airport. I spent $656 on a ticket. And now I'm still trying to find a way to get home right now. And I'm low. I can't even get home. I've been here since yesterday, since 305. He's not alone in his misery. I had a flight issue. And now I'm trying to rebook, but the price is ridiculously super high. The average lowest cost for airfare is up 14% from last year at just over $200 per ticket. The pandemic prices were great, where it was like $2 a flight. Right now, the flights are skyrocketing and it's getting out of hand, quite frankly. Demand is back to pre-pandemic levels. The Transportation Security Administration screened almost two and a half million passengers Thursday, 17% more than the Friday before the 4th in 2019. Staff shortages have led airlines to cancel thousands of flights this summer. Add in weather problems. These are the airports where air traffic was temporarily halted yesterday because of thunderstorms and gusty winds, and you have a recipe for disaster. I'm still stuck in LAX, and it's, what, almost six hours later. Problems in the air have pushed an estimated 42 million Americans to take road trips this 4th of July weekend, according to AAA, despite average gas prices of just under $5 a gallon. Triple LA projects nearly 50 million people will travel 50 miles or more from home, an increase of 3.7% over last year. Wendy Gillette, CBS News, New York.